Welcome back to the weekend edition. Our subject on the show tonight uh, is police brutality, and I'm Dr. Kingori. Our guest on the show is a security expert and a former GSU officer, Musamali George, ladies and gentlemen. Mambo. Wazi, karibu kwa show yetu. Asante. Kabisa, before to the show, tulikuwa tunongea na we ukaniambia, ulikuwa mwalimu wa GSU, not just a GSU officer. Mm -hmm. So hizi tabia zote wanafanya huku, hindi we umewafunza. <laughs> <laughs> ni mimi ni mwafunza, lakini sija wafunza ili tabia ambazo naona. The way I see them operating now yes. is not very professional. Uh, for example, what I saw at the University of Nairobi was so disgusting. Yes. You cannot throw dawa kwa dirisha watu wa kiwa ndani. Yes. Uh, yet these people are harmless. These are people who are already barric have barricaded themselves in the room, meaning they are not causing any trouble, yes. and they are not a threat to security. So why remove them out and then cause them to be harmed by ah, the police? I think okay. that is where they got it wrong. Okay. The books are there, the books are very clear. Okay. How do you deal with a rioters mob? You also told when uh, a legally assembled crowd turns to become a rioters mob, okay. and the steps you're supposed to do or to take to disperse them. And this is not exactly what I see happening now. In the country because we've it's had cases worrisome, yeah we've had cases yeah what wanna say police ndio walianza uchokozi like wao ndio waliona watu wameassemble wakamshatia sasa zingine tunalaumu police wao uliona wale jamaa wa Kisumu wakisema tear gas tunalipianga eh sasa ukiambiwa na na mtu anakuambia tear gas ni yetu na tunalipanga ushuru lazima wanyonye wako na rights baba walirushiwa tear gas akisema aya hapo tear gas akatupiwa tear gas how a procedure ya kutupa tear gas iko because uh, when you are going out for a riot operation, yes. you need to plan for this. And uh, we have what we call a riot platoon. The composition of a riot platoon is supposed to be 32 officers. Yes. Out of these 32 officers, you're supposed to have 27 who are only armed with batons. Now room. I'm surprised room. to see that almost everybody is armed with a firearm. 27, the tabu in Asema, 27 should be armed with batons only. And then you have two gunmen who only fire tear gas canisters. And then we have two riflemen who carry live rounds. Below okay. we know what I'm Yes. And everything goes by order. Yes. If a peacefully assembled crowd turns to become rioters, the first step is kuna declaration in a soma pale. In a soma kwa polisi we wenyewe. Si kwa polisi, wale watu raio wamekusanyika pale. Wana sema tunataka tia guys. No, munaambiwa sasa, <laughs> tunaonelea sasa mmeanza kuwa rioters. Sasa, hii si peaceful tena. Yeah. That is the first step. Lakini sasa squeeze me wana ile step ya mwisho ya kutupa tear gas ndio police wanaanza nayo. Ah, Hapo okay. ndio kuna kasoro basi. Okay. Kwa hivyo basically hata siju this conversation can narrow down to a simple something as simple as uh, police to afuate law. Police wafuate sheria. If the books are there. Yes. Na wafuate sheria kama ni ku disperse watu yes. they use forceful uh, I mean legal methods ambazo ziko kwa vitabu. It tells you exactly when to use force and what type of force. Manake kunele atu ambaye nasemekana now this time these people have become too rioters, these people are destroying property, we now need to use life ammunition on these people. But when it gets to that point, it must come from an order and somebody must be identified. Kama ni wewe, tunasema mtu ameva fulani, nguo zinakana mna fulani, kama ni kupiga rifleman number one, so that tomorrow kiulizo anana lipiga risasi, you can be able to say rifleman number one and Pia, you can be able to account for that. Unona, you must take responsibility. So, kumbe, muna, mtu anafaa kuplan, baka ule mtu anapigwa risasi, na anapigwa risasi na nani? Na nani, na nikosa, na ni wapi? Kama nasema upigwa hii forehead yako, sabu, nona ni mrefu, nasema piga forehead. <laughs> <laughs> happen like the Nairobi University watu wamekuja wamenyoroshwa when the police come to address the issue they always deny hawaezi kubali kitu hiyo pia iko kwa vitabu hiyo ku deny nafikiri it's very unprofessional because Kenya tumepozoea ile culture ya ku one thing you first uh, what downplay deny Yes. And then forget about it. Hizo vitabu, mkona vitabu zenye vile nasema mnaenda ati leo tuna revise tear gas. Unasoma button. Like iyo rungu kuna instruction ya... Iyo rungu ina kuna instruction ya kutumika. Unafaa kupiga kengori wapi. Daktari ya kikuja na mezusha gasi ya na umambiwa button charge this group. Unambiwa unapiga elbows. Unapiga magoti. 
na unapiga tumbo forward hapana huyu huku <laughs> unapigwa huku huku na tumbo uh, watu wa nini watu this is a special message to watu wa home you have the information now va kitu hapa at least <laughs> and eat well unajua <laughs> tumbo usitapike i find this very interesting uh, at the age of a gsu officer and between you're supposed to suffer you see the gsu is part is a formation in the police Mm-hmm. and uh, the GSU is actually the tactical wing of the police. Yes. So when you get into the GSU, there's a contract between you and the government and the police yes. that you're only supposed to serve in the GSU for six years. Six years. Six only. years. Why yes. do they do that? Uh-huh. From the age of 18, wakati umeandikwa, mimi niliandikwa nikiwa na miaka 18, to six years. Utakuwa umefika miaka ngapi? 24. 24. Yes. 24, this is the age where now you start thinking rationally. Unasema sasa nataka ku settle down, nataka kuoa bibi. Uh-huh. you want to become a parent mtu kama huyo ukimtuma kwa riot hatafanya kazi ukimpeleka front line hatafanya kazi we need young men who don't think mm. <laughs> 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 unaweza wa program yeah. wafanye kile kitu unata, unataka hakuna place ya you need to run for your lives nyinyi police you see sikuran inaitwa tactical withdrawal ah ah nyi pia mna tumia uoga ni uoga bala eh zi 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 ati wewe majamaa kanjo wana come tactical withdrawal madai i'm withdrawing tactically no ukitoroka unaenda unakamata wewe mwenyewe kule unachajiwa with being a coward ah ah zi wanaona nasema kinguri alikimbia kienyeji unatakana una withdrawal <laughs> Being a coward is a crime. Yes, it's a crime. Mtu ambaye umetrainiwa. Ai, umetrainiwa 15 months. Na unaambiwa this is a situation where you need to deal with. Umefanya karate. Niko sure. Umefundishwa taekwondo. Ah, thank you. What's the first line of defense? Sijui. Okay. Ni, ni run. run for your life. Run for your life. Hiyo ni sasa retreat tactically. Hiyo ni unaita. Hiyo ni retreat tactically. And you are told don't onyesha mtu mgongo. Rudi nyuma ukiwa ume, ume face the crowd assembled mm. mali kula mawe then, ukiona kula mawe ukiona, ukiona inatoka kwa nani <laughs> surely alafu baadaye mujipange yeah. tena how now do we deal with this crowd ime tuzidi do we need to call for reinforcement ama tunaweza saa tumia risasi moja mbili tuone hao watatoroka ama watafanya nini makarao ni watu kama sisi si ndio like, daktari saa zingine kuna mambo mengine ambayo kidogo yani influence some of these actions uh, that is why in 2010 yes the new constitution yes tulisema kwamba we remove the police from being answerable to the executive yes. and make it an independent body. Okay. Tukasema the inspector general should be appointed by the National Police Service Commission okay. upon approval by parliament. Yes. So we are saying we should remove the police from the control of the politicians. Yes. And then wabunge wakaenda bunge tena. Yes. Waka reverse hiyo yote. Ah. So that is why you see when the inspector general comes here haezi jibu maswali moja kwa moja kwa sababu anajua Tomorrow if somebody wakes up in the morning and asemi ni jibu maswali that expose the government yes. you will be sacked. Oh. You get? Oh. Sasa, and sasa hii action unaona sometimes is influenced by politics. Okay. 2007 2008 taught us a lesson. We had a police force that was not there to serve the public well, it was partisan because ilikuwa imegemea upande wa serikali. And this is what has was happening since 1992 when we went to multi party politics yes police were well under the control of the presidency yes mukitumwa kazi mahali mnaambiwa fikeni pale but don't do anything that is why we had the clashes in 1992 police were kuzi contain tukakuja 1997 the same thing happened the worst 207 208 waelewa kwa hivyo as you see them acting right now it's because wamerudi kwa ile mikono ya kuwa controlled by the executive ukifanya kitu unaangalia nyuma wana so, siasa watasema nini so kama the ig so, so technically the police is not uh, the police uh, service is not as independent as it should be it's not as independent as it should be and that is why i've said we reversed the gains by now making the president again be the person to appoint the inspector general of police yes. and the deputy inspector general of police that is why when things go wrong they are always defensive ah, they are always defensive okay. Because wewe utaki kuflatter the manyoya ya wale watu wanakulisha wanakulipa itakuwa hard itakuwa hard kesho utasikia duala ameenda bunge na kusema utoke toka hii toa hii mtu wewe unajua kuna privilege ya unaweza kama karao na unaweza kama sisi but wewe unatuuza wewe ni sisi na una survive na hiyo pande nyingine <laughs> so buongelesha watu hapa watu wote polisi na wale watu wa kunyonya tiagas as in as a Wambie tu advice ya mali. Na, na nafikiri kitu cha maana what is important here is that 
sisi wote lazima tujue we are Kenyans na this is our country. Na when you are in the police service, know that you are there to serve the people. And what you are doing is constitutional. You are not there by your own accord ya kwamba unaweza kwenda kufanya kile unachotaka. Uh, bear in mind that hili taifa ni lazima lisonge mbele na wewe wakati unaenda kufanya kazi yako usipitishe kiasi. Do what is legally bound to you by the constitution and the laws of the country. Na pia mwananchi when you are going out there to do your demonstrations know also that this is our country and do things zile ambazo zinawezesha inchi kuendelea. Not going out there and start throwing stones, destroying property. Ukitarajia kwamba police will come there and babysit you. Police wako pale kuhakikisha kwamba kuna usalama na utengamano. And what you call excessive force sometimes they consider it to be reasonable force so long as they can be able to justify it. Yeni amekuwa karao use excessive force please. <laughs> yes. That's more like it. Musa Mali George ladies and gentlemen that's it for the weekend edition. My name is Dr. King Ori. See you next week.